hello welcome um, today we're gonna uh, look at how you can express proteins using um, bacteria expression um, such as E. coli so the first thing that you have to do is measure about 47 ish grams of terrific broth um, and then add one liter of water and it needs to be in the specific um, one liter flasks then you put foil and autoclave tape on them and then you either send them for autoclave or you do it yourself in our facility um, they do it for us which is very nice so here it's back from the autoclave and then after that you need to add glucose and antibiotic to your uh, solution so I'm making some 40% glucose, which has 400 grams of glucose in one liter of water. And you need to uh, make sure it's mixed and autoclaved. Then I have my antibiotic in 1000x solution. So first, um, I'm going to add about 1 mil of exactly one mil of my antibiotic to each one liter flask and this will um, take the concentration from 1000 x to 1x so you're going um, to add one mil to one liter so, and that's what i'm doing now um, the antibiotic will make sure that only your bacteria is going to grow and not the bacteria that is present in the surrounding air or anything that might accidentally get in there. You only want your bacteria to grow in there. Now I'm adding um, 50 ml of the 40% glucose to each 1 liter flask because they need um, sugar as a food source as well and it helps them grow um but yeah so this is like a standard um and then now i'm adding about 50 ml of the mixture to uh smaller flasks also cone shaped to allow good air um airflow while they're shaking um you need to have this specific shape of flask and yeah, before adding it to the smaller flask, give it a good shake, make sure it's um, all homogeneous. Now I'm adding my bacteria to the smaller flask and um, putting my bacteria back in the minus 80. So after you inoculate your uh, 50 ml overnight cultures, so these are called overnights, you put them at 37 degrees and um, they're going to be shaking there in this nice warm temperature for like the whole night. Um, it's always best to do this overnight and or at least you need a couple like eight hours or something. But it doesn't make sense to do it on a work day. So do it overnight. And you see the solution is clear now. But when you come the next day, they should be cloudy. And now I'm putting my, um, the rest of the one liter is um, probably 950 mils right now. I'm putting that in a big shaker. And yeah, as you can see, the solution should be clear um, until the next morning. So. Just to make sure, I usually don't leave it at 37 degrees overnight. I leave it around 25 degrees and then I bump up the temperature to 37 degrees in the morning. So, um, and it's always best to start um, the next day in the morning because um, otherwise you're going to stay for a long time. So after you go your overnights, the next day, usually try to come to work early. As you can see, the next day, the 
solution is pretty cloudy and the bacteria have successfully grown in there first thing tomorrow you have to take a little bit of like a mill of the clear solution from your one liter flasks and you need this as your blank and if you don't do this you're gonna be screwed so definitely get your blank so you have like a reference to later know how much your bacteria is gonna grow in there and now I'm using a um, spectrophotometer to measure the blank um, and depending on your instrument um, it might be a little bit different but it's usually very self-explanatory you want to select the OD optical density at 600 nanometer and first you have to blank it with your blank solution so that will be your zero and yeah as you can see I select the blank and now it's zero but then when you put your solution that has bacteria it should give you a positive value not zero so next you want to add from your overnight culture enough bacteria to your clear um, one liter flasks so that your optical density or your cloudiness will be at least 0 0.1 um, 0 0.1 would be a great um, point to start um, and yeah so I did that mine was a bit higher but it's fine so yeah definitely go for 0 0.1 0 0.15 but don't definitely go over 0 0.2 cuz you need some room for the bacteria to grow and and then track the growth over time usually it will take about an hour or hour 130 minutes for the bacteria to reach an optical density of about 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 and this might um, be different for each protein for me about 0 0.7 is perfect but I know some proteins in different labs that can even go as high as an OD of 1 but um, yeah this is something you should test for yourself so after you reach the optical density of 0.7 um, to 0 0.8 you can add 1 mil of IPTG or isopropyl thiogalactopyranocyte something like that this will promote the expression of your protein so this is like um, a similar um, uh, molecule to galactose and it will permanently induce the expression of your protein and after you do this the, the growth of the cells will stop and then all the energy will go towards expressing the protein and after this you need to leave it for three hours at 37 degrees so three hours have passed and I'm back so this is why you should start this in the morning or um, early in the day because it will take about um, five hours to do this in total and um, yeah so this way you'll have time next you want to pour it in these um, uh, centrifuge um, bottles these are really strong and make sure that they don't have any cracks or anything in the bottom because you don't want to you don't want them to break on you and get bacteria all over the centrifuge so make sure they are in good shape and it's very very important for you to make sure that the two tubes are balanced and they have the same weight um, as you know like this is very important for all types of centrifugation you should always balance whatever you put in there so it doesn't um, uh, have like differences in weight across it it's, um, yeah it's one of the most important things when it comes to centrifuging 
and some people forget it sometimes but yeah just make sure especially for these big centrifuges they're very expensive and you have to make sure you do this correctly and so you can add water to the one that has a lower weight close everything make sure you also put the lid on correctly and it screws on correctly and then spin it for 5500 rpm about 35 minutes at 4 degrees and you want to sit there um, stand there until the rpm reaches the um, selected 5000 something or 6000 whatever you selected just make sure it reaches that and then you can walk away but um, yeah after 35 minutes it's finished you take them out and clearly you should be able to see your bacteria all collected in as a pellet in the bottom which is exactly what you want then you dump the supernatant or the top solution back into the one liter flasks and then you want to transfer your pellet to tubes and put them in the freezer and clean everything with bleach and water. Thank you so much for watching and good luck expressing proteins.